Tonight, we are talking to a Lawrence Township mom who contacted RTV6 about her daughter's safety on the school bus. She says her daughter does not have a seat. RTV6's Nicole Griffin is working for you, bringing her concerns to the attention of the school district. The mother of that seventh grade student says she's concerned about the safety of her daughter on the school bus because it's overcrowded. She says several times recently her daughter has had to squat next to an emergency exit where there's no seats. The trouble started last week for a seventh grader who rides on Lawrence Township bus 187 to Fall Creek Valley Middle School. After my daughter got off the school bus, she informed me that she was riding squatted down for the entire ride in the morning as well as the evening. Autumn Summer says there are assigned seats on the school bus, but she says her daughter was told to ride near the emergency exit door. But I was reassured the door wouldn't open, so, you know, it was okay. She says that was her first response from the school district. She says she asked to speak with someone higher up in the transportation department. That person told her this was not acceptable. He then told me it would be taken care of, bear with them uh, while they adjust everything. Um, I did at that point make sure he was not meaning bear with him as then my daughter will continue to sit like the, that. I was reassured no, absolutely not. But she says the problems are continuing this week. Summer says yesterday her daughter was finally told to sit in seat 20 on the bus. Which was overflowing with students already. So she was sitting into the aisle. Another student was reseated and ended up sitting on the floor for that ride. I requested the following information from Lawrence Township. How many students are assigned to the bus? How many seats are available? And is the bus overcrowded? This is the response I received. It says the director of transportation has spoken to the mom and they are working together towards a solution, but that the details are still getting worked out. Shortly after our request, Summers received a phone call from the transportation director saying the issue would be resolved in 24 hours. And now the transportation director is coming up with a plan of action. Nicole Griffin, RTV6. Summers says the transportation director also offered to have a special needs bus pick up her daughter and others until they get seating situated. She says she declined that offer.